in my yard, wild grass grows very fast. We cut it, we dry it, we burn it, or we throw it away. But now, I don't want to throw it. I want to use this waste grass and turn it into a natural air conditioning for my house. How? This is what I'm gonna show you all in this video. So stay with me and watch this video all the way. Actually, my hand closer to this honeycomb can feel cooler wind. 36.4, suddenly the temperature is dropping. Without that wet grass in that honeycomb pattern. 34.8, it started to climb. 34.9, it's climbing up. Actually, if I put my face closer to it, not only I smell that sweet aroma of dry grass, but also I get cooler wind closer to this. Assalamualaikum, greetings, Adishama here. I'm sitting in my house side in the corridor and the temperature is 37 degrees here. And of course, rising slightly. Outside is 43 degrees and there is no air conditioning in this whole corridor. Now the ceiling fan is running and of course my 3D printed toroidal propeller fan is also running but they are not helping. There are two windows in my corridors and they are the only medium of getting fresh air inside but looking at the amount of direct sunlight and high temperatures outside they only give warm air. The refrigerator gets really warm and the only way to cool down and help with the internal cooling of the refrigerator for its compressor I normally spray water on the outside of the body and as you can see these water droplets on the body do help cool down the body and help with the cooling of the refrigerator now one day I went ahead and sprayed the water on the mosquito net directly and I realized when coming through the mosquito net after it has water droplets on it is slightly cooler than the wind when the mosquito net does not have water droplets on it. So lots of dry grass in my yard. You know the idea. So now, of course, these two will go on the window, on top of the window, okay? Hanging the whole module down, just like this, to cover the whole window. So this is the idea. This one will be hanged on top there, and I can print more curtains to let it cover the window all the way down. And as you see the width of the window, I might have to prepare two or three lines of these 3D printed curtains. Now I'm gonna bring the grass, put the grass in, wet the grass, and we will experiment right here using my 3D printed fan, and of course my temperature gauge is right here. We will see if the wind is really cooling down or not. Now, the temperature, as you can see, 37.3. So now the grass is inside this honeycomb pattern container. All right, and here is my fan. Yes, there is some wind transferring through it. Now, I might just have put too much grass in it, so I will have to experiment by taking some grass out, but first let's wet it out and see how it works. So, I will just wet the grass for now. As you can see, water is dropping from bottom, and if I had a container down there, it will actually hold the water. And let it drip from at one side only. But for now, let's just wet the grass. Now, I'm gonna turn the fan on. And I'm gonna use this uh, temperature gauge 
right here and see if the temperature is dropping. Right now is 37.4. Right now is 37.4. Now the wind is crossing through the wet grass. Thirty-seven point two. It's actually dropping. A moment. Let me put the camera here. So that's my fan, 3D printed fan. It's working. All right. And right here is the temperature gauge. Okay. Already become thirty-seven. So wind does. It is cooling wind, man. Thirty-six point nine. Look at that. Temperature is dropping. So here, less grass, but wet grass, and wind is coming through. Let me increase the fan speed. Thirty-six point seven. Actually, my hand closer to this honeycomb can feel cooler wind. Thirty-six point four. Suddenly, the temperature is dropping. Thirty-six point two. You're looking at it. So there's the fan. The wind already cools down to thirty-six degrees. Coming through this cool grass, thirty-five point eight. Cool, man. It is working. Cool wind coming out of it. 35.7 so you can see the temperature is actually dropping really fast and the water is not even running so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add more water to this grass hold on so imagine if I had a water pump which keeps the water running through it as I designed it this way that originally I wanted the water to keep on running all the time. Okay, so I'm gonna start the fan. Now I pick it up at 35.2. 35. See, from 37, see, the temperature we started with, we are able to drop the temperature a lot through this when coming from this wet grass. 34.9. This temperature gauge works very slow actually, but it's pretty actu accurate, 34.8. So you see, I am, so you see, this is actually keeping on dropping the temperature, all right? 34.7, the temperature keeps on dropping because the wind is coming through wet grass and the water droplets. They are actually cooling down the wind. Now, if I remove this, okay, and directly take the wind, 34.6, now, 34.6, if I remove that and directly take the wind from the fan without that wet grass in that honeycomb pattern. Thirty four point eight is started to climb. Thirty four point nine it's climbing up. Without this honeycomb pattern, it's climbing up direct wind so the wind is warmer 35 degrees now the wind is coming from the wet grass 34.9 see immediately it makes a difference cool man I'm happy that this thing is working 34.8 so the temperature is dropping so the wind coming through this wet grass container is constantly getting cooled and temperature is constantly dropping. I am really happy 
that this idea is working. You see, we have tons of this waste grass in our yard. It grows so fast and we trim it and we just throw it. So now what I will do is, I will not throw this grass. I will 3D print more of these honeycomb pattern, combine them, stake them, stack them down and make a long curtain, make two or three long curtains, put them on both of these windows and when the wind crosses through and then put on a, and then install a water pump which will constantly drop water through it and then when the wind crosses through this wet grass it will only cool down and help cool down the winds and help cool down the air and atmosphere in this whole corridor. This long yard we need at least at least a two ton air conditioner which will cost us a lot of electricity to cool this area down but using these 3d printed curtains on two of the windows i am confident i can cool down the air inside this area a whole lot actually if i put my face closer to it not only i smell that sweet aroma of dry grass but also i get cooler wind closer to this closer to this grass compartment so not only it is going to cool the wind in this area but also it will release a sweet aroma very nice aroma of dry grass removing the unwanted odors from this corridor area as well so there are lots of benefits of this man sweet so let's see if the water is constantly flowing through this a little bit drops but overall you can see it's coming out from here so it will go to a container from where the pump will take the water back up and quickly on the window as well okay so this is the window where the wind's coming from. This is the window where the wind's coming from. Let's say if I 3D print and hang the whole curtains right here. You can see from 36.1, the temperature already down to 36, 35.9. I can feel on my fingers that the wind coming from outside is actually cool when it goes through this wet grass. 35.8. As you can see, the temperature is constantly dropping. 35.6, and it's dropping fast. Cool, isn't it? My, exper my experiment, man, my experiment is working. I'm really, really happy. 35.5. Really, the wind is cool coming through it. 35.4. So let's say if I cover this whole window with these 3D printed grass containers and wet this grass using a water pump which constantly turns the water, which constantly flow the water through these wet grass containers, I will be able to cool down this area a whole lot without air conditioner. As you can see, 35.1. So the temperature is constantly dropping, man. Thirty-five. Temperature is constantly dropping. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the grass, wet grass container here. Thirty-five degrees on my temperature gauge. So now I'm holding the temperature gauge by the window without that wet grass container that I 3D printed that from 35, it just climbed up to 35.1. Of course, direct sunlight is also increasing the temperature. But I can tell you, when I held that 3D printed wet grass container in my hand, my fingers could feel the cool wind coming through it. Now the temperature has risen to 35.3, as you can see. So you can see the temperature will keep rising without that. And so I have proved my point. 
Thank you very much for watching this video. I believe I have proved my concept and proved my point. Now all I need to do is 3D print more of these and turn them into a whole curtain of wet grass covering the whole window. And after that, I can cool down this whole corridor a whole lot without any air conditioning. So if you want to download and experiment with this design, please feel free. There's a link in the video description. You can download the STL files and print it by yourself and, you know, build the whole curtains of wet grass to cool the air down in your house without any AC. And of course, if you want this toroidal propeller desktop RC motor fan, the link is also in the video description. Have fun and in the next video, I will show you how I 3D printed the whole curtain to cover that window right there and how it is helping me cooling down this corridor. Have fun people, give this video a big like, stay subscribed to my channel and if you like my work, do support my channel using the link in video description, join my supporters group or join my channel.